Okay, so newest project. A friend brought this in yesterday. It's actually his trailer. This is where I, I'm working at. So it's his, it's his yard, it's his trailer. And uh, we have a problem. So this is all broken up. He said, oh, just weld it. But guess what? Here's where we really got into some trouble because all of those cross members clear across there are also broken up. So we're gonna do a little grinding, do a little welding. We're gonna see if we can't put this thing back together. So one more project. I'm loving it. It's just more stuff to do. I love it. All right, so one other little project I'm gonna do here so I can get this trailer out of my way. We're going to fix that. And by the way, I, I know this may look like I probably welded it, but I didn't. <clears throat> so I'm going to fix it though, uh, because I've got a welder here and I got all this fun equipment and I'm gonna get this sucker out of my way because this is ridiculous. So basically it's, I gotta bring my welder and stuff out through there. Then I gotta come around here, gotta go around all that. So I'm just gonna eliminate it, fix it, Put it away, call it good, okay? Okay, to start with, we're gonna go ahead and use the plasma cutter. We're gonna cut some of this weld off because I didn't really wanna use the torch to start out with. I just wanted to use the plasma cutter. Knock those welds off, and then in order to get it back in place, we're gonna go ahead and use the jack. And uh, that was the suggestion. I'm gonna admit that I don't think the jack was a great idea to begin with. I'll show you here in a second. So here comes the genius in me. This is where I really show my intelligence. I bring a nylon strap to a fire party. Uh, nylon and fire? Yeah, you think that went through, buddy? Apparently I didn't. <laughs> yeah. I'll explain that one at the end here in a second, but I did finally get it kind of handled. Amazingly enough, that, that strap when I'm finished here does not bust me in the face. And here comes the dummy with the heat. Okay, dude, yeah, heat and nylon, that works really well. So if that didn't do the job, let's go get the hot wrench. Now, I want you to notice as I use this torch, how really brilliant I am. I'm doing my very best not to actually aim it at the strap, but watch closely and you'll see kind of in spots where I really seriously, it went down on the strap. It was ridiculous. Like right here. Yeah, go ahead, shove that heat down that hole. All right, admittedly, I found out that the strap was not gonna do what I wanted to do. So we're gonna go back to the jack, like the original process we thought about. This time I'm gonna change positions and I'm only gonna fight this jack about 15 dozen times before I finally get it to work. But it's going to do a lot better job than the strap was ever gonna do. Now that I got it in place, all I got to do is unplug the plasma welder, uh, plasma cutter, sorry, 
and put my welder back in place so that I can actually go ahead and start the weld. And I'm going to go ahead and get that done. Another genius move here on the uh, part of the welder here, who doesn't seem to really, you know, have a whole lot of real experience. All right, I do. But I didn't want to change to a, a shielded wire, like a, a flux cord wire. So I uh, I had to do some things. This is, this is just adjusting a little bit to get it to kind of pop back into place where I kind of want to be able to get closer so the gap's not as big. But I, uh, every time you'll notice that I use my hand there, I'm trying to shield my own shielded wire welding. So I'm trying to keep the gas in place because I can see where it's kind of uh, starting to bubble a little like it, like it doesn't have it. So you'll notice right here, coming up right here, you'll notice me stick my hand down and it's to try and keep that uh, gas in place. Right there. Looks like I may have had some success after all. Didn't burn it, didn't make it uh, stick together on the inside, we're good to go. Always making sure that I haven't burned holes through the jack itself to make sure that they, that would really be bad. If I went ahead and just welded the whole thing together and come to find out the jack doesn't work anymore, yeah, that'd been brilliant. finishing touches. Now honestly, considering that I'm a pretty half, you know, half-baked welder, that actually doesn't look too bad. You can see that my gas is blowing away a little bit. I got a little bit of a crust on there. But you know what, all in all, looks a lot better than it did and I didn't grind anything off, which I probably should have, but I didn't spend any time on it, so there you go. Okay, well, we were able to make some repairs very very tricky my welds are not the best but I am telling you it was hard to get that stuff cleaned up so we did get that repaired now I've only got a little bit of a problem up here on top in that I got a gap I somehow have built myself in a little bit of a gap so I'm not exactly sure what we're gonna do here we're gonna look around, see if I can find some weight, something heavy enough to push down on it, see if I can't uh, clean up some of that gap because it's probably more than I really wanna have. Okay, here we go. Okay, so we um, done both sides. Uh, see, can't see there, but you can see we've done both sides, okay put some sort of a weld back on them. Not, oh, I need to do that side right there. Um, and then we're going to make one of these little bad boys for this little bad boy right here. So yeah, to kind of make it do its thing. So one more little project, one more project got going on. We'll do that next. I'll hit that weld over there and then uh, we're done. So I like that. Zipped it up.
Thanks for watching. Be sure to hit the like and subscribe button.